In this video, we're going to look at some attribute constraints and how they're used in scheduling. This is a very simple example. I've got two resources and I have one job. And now what I've done is I've used something called, if I can find it here, setup tables. And I've created a setup table for resource one and a setup table for resource two. So in resource one, I've set that um, a job's length and width. Uh, so the length can be from zero to 10 and the width can be from zero to 10. And then if I go to resource two, I've set the same attribute values and I said it can be from uh, six to 10 instead of zero to 10 and the width can be from six to 10. So I put that in the description here of the resource so we can just keep track. I should mention one other thing here before I open the job. On the setup table, I can um, enforce these as constraints. So I'm enforcing length and width as eligibility constraints here. All right, so I've opened up the job dialog window. And if we look at the attributes on this job, we'll see we have a length attribute of nine and a width attribute of nine. And you'll see that the job can schedule, if I click on it once, you see the green arrow on both resources, meaning uh, it can schedule on both resources. So let's try something tricky here. I'll move it up to the top. Let's open the job up, and I'm going to change the width to something in the resource one range, but not in resource two range. So let's change the, the uh, length to two and the width to two. We'll save that still stays scheduled up here. I click on the job now. I'm only showing eligibility for resource one, so it automatically figures that out. If I try to drag down to resource two, it's going to tell me no activities moved, um, operation attribute length two is not within the target resources operating range. So that's just another way um, the system can use certain constraints. Um, it's called attribute eligibility constraints, very useful. You can use all sorts of combinations when it comes to these. Thanks for watching.